Dogs. I, I love dogs. Yeah. Dogs are so you, much more faithful. Got one. Yes, I have. What, what I've got a bee shoe. Oh. oh, actually, I took a picture of it oh, the other day. It. It's had over 2,000 hits simply because, Yay. no, simply because they just went, how cute is that? Um, there you go. Oh, I know. look at that. Oh, are you filming <laughs> everybody? Filming, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, she that sleeps with me. The wife doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I cuddle up to my dog every night. Well, the wife goes, oh, you snore sometimes. I oh, do I? Yeah, so she goes to the spare room. <laughs> Living the dream, hun. Living the oh. dream. Anyway, it's nice to meet you. Well, is it, uh, this is a therapy session or an interview <laughs> for pantomime. <laughs> Tell me all your secrets. Have you got any problems? Pro oh, many problems. <laughs> many problems. Um, but when you come to Essex... You've been to Essex before, though, haven't you? I live you? here. Do you? I live in Essex. I did not know that. I live in Nazin. Uh, oh, in Essex, nice. which is on the borders of Hertfordshire and Essex. It's yeah. a lovely place. And uh, and I moved to Essex because um, I just love the... Um, for me, e Essex is actually really country. It's proper, mm. like, greenery, you know, uh, the fields and the views and the lovely, lovely villages and whatnot. And um, and I just adore it. I adore Essex. It's, it's a beautiful... I've been offered to move out to, like, further up north to Norfolk. And mm. No, no, it's right. I'll stay where I am. Mm. I love it. It's a good base, mm. isn't it? For somebody like you who does an awful lot of performing. I do. I, I do tour a lot, which is yeah. why I don't stay at home much either, mm. to be fair. So... Um, I do world tours all the time. I'm I'm always somewhere around the world. So the fact that I I come home, I actually appreciate where I am as well. Yeah. Because uh, you miss it, I think. Mm. Do you tour? Do you, what, do, you go, do you go anywhere apart from <laughs> You just giggled, so. <laughs> that's a no. I'm assuming that's, uh, <laughs> that's basically to, to the office and back, yeah? Where I, my office is my home. So, so you don't even leave your house? Yeah, no. So this is a rarity, putting clothes I on come, as well then? Otherwise it's always Jimmy's, isn't it? Jim Jams, <laughs> just walking around the house. Yeah, no, I just, I come to the theatre to do reviews and interviews and stuff. Cool. Meet people like yourself. Oh, well, bless you, darling. Which is nice. That's lovely. It's so nice meeting you too. you've done, let's talk about the panto. You've done panto before here, haven't you? Yeah, 14 years ago. Yeah. I did Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Yeah. Um, Who was that with? Linda Lasardi and Sam Kane. Oh, yeah. Yes, that was an oh. experience. I bet that was a hardship, wasn't it? With well, it was when, well, Linda Lasardi, I remember being here and I was playing in Snow White and Seven Dwarfs and Linda Lasardi gives me the vessel with the pestle, <laughs> which I drink and I turn into a frog. And then I did this routine where I had to climb the, the rock to sit on the top of the, the rock and my costume started to fall down. <laughs> so the tights I was wearing as the frog would fall down. And the funny thing was, uh, some of your backside gets exposed, right? And people would be laughing and laughing and laughing. And Linda said to me one night, she went, do you know what? She said, even though you've got a cute bum, she said, I'll be honest with you, she said, it's very white. Oh. She said, do you mind if I spray tan it? And I'm not joking, that experience <laughs> has stayed with me. <laughs> and now she's the godparent to my children. Is she? Mm. Oh, how so lovely. there you go, it's kind of how it came about. She went from spraying my backside to becoming a godparent to my children. Oh. And you're just telling us. Living the dream. Absolutely. <laughs> and, you've got, and you've got twins. I've got twins now, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're keeping one. <laughs> yeah, no, they're lovely boys. Um, they'll be here at Christmas. Hopefully, say, they'll, they'll get on stage. Well, yes. But the thing was, I have to tell you this. A mm. um, couple of years ago, I said, I said, when you walk on stage, don't tell anyone I'm your dad. Mm. Right? So they both walk on stage and you don't, <laughs> they don't know what to expect. So I turned around to the first one, the one I trust more. <laughs> I turned around and went, I want it. So what's your name? He went, Jake. I said, how old are you, Jake? He said, I'm four. I said, and, uh, did you enjoy the pantomime? Yes, I did. I said, who was your favourite? <laughs> he said, you. I said, thanks. Aww. Everyone went, ah. I said, yes. And I went like this. I went, oh, you look like me. And that got another laugh, right? Even though they didn't know he yeah, was my yeah. son. <laughs> then turned around to my other son, Luke, who doesn't look like me at all. Um, completely the opposite. And uh, I said to him, hello. I said, what's your name? And he went, oh, he's Luke, daddy. <laughs> like, I'm just ruining the entire <laughs> joke. And then I went, oh, great, stupid boy. But there you go, it was, it was great. <laughs> so he's so, not the uh, favourite one then. But he, no, they're great. They're both great little boys and I'm hoping they're going to come here this year yeah, and get on stage and I, again. That, That's one of the favourite parts of Panto, isn't it, when the kids get come up on stage? It's fantastic, actually, yeah. I've, I've had some incredible children. I had one child, um, this was in Wimbledon, actually, and uh, he walked on stage, up, at, and I'm not making this up, this is actually God's honest truth, Walked to the stage and, I, and he looked like Harry Potter. He had a bow tie, glasses, cute, <laughs> cute, cute, right? Mm. And I went, hello, what's your name? And he went, Timothy. And I said, hello, <laughs> Timothy. I said, no, I said, hello, Tim. And he went, no, no, Timothy. Oh. I went, oh, oh. I went, Timothy. And how old are you, Timothy? He said, five. I said, and did you enjoy the show? It, it, it was very good, yes. I said, and who was your favourite character? Hmm. Yes. I said, was it me? He went, no, no, no. Um, <laughs> I think it would have been uh, the... 
the lead character that played the prince. And I said, <laughs> oh, wow. I said, well, that's great. And I said to him, right, now we're going to do old MacDonald. I said, now, can you think of an animal that you'd like to do? And I swear to you, I'm not making this up. He went, I'd like to be a South African Google bird from the tribe of the uh, Hunagunawana. Or something he said like that. I can't remember. And I looked at him. I mean, the audience, that was it. There's no heads. They're gone. They're gone. Everyone's on the floor. And I went, a, a, an African goo goo bird. And he went, yeah. I said, all right. So I went, old MacDonald had a farm. E -I -E -I -I -I. And on that farm, he had a South African goo goo bird. E -I -E -I -I -I. With a, and I, and I just put it there. And he paused, right? And it got a massive laugh from the audience <laughs> until he went, <laughs> what? What? And he actually did the sound. And that was it. He crucified me on stage. I just went, you know what? You're a genius, son. You're a genius. And those are the kind of children I love having on stage. You can't compete with you that. You can't compete. Can you? No, Great. it's brilliant. So tell us quickly who, the, who you're going to be playing in Robin Hood. I'm playing Simple Simon, mm. who's basically a stereotype of my life. Um, <laughs> he's, he's the one that, you know, uh, he gets everything muddled up. He's a bit of a silly billy. Um, but he's the kid's favourite because he's, he's friends with the kids. Um, and... Um, and he becomes friends with Ashley uh, and, and Diversity, who were playing all the merry men. Mm. So he becomes mates with them. And then, um, and then he gets into a lot of trouble, which is what I do relatively every single day of my life. Brilliant. Sounds like there's going to be loads of laughs. It's there. going to be great fun. Loads great fun this year. It's going to be a really good pantomime this yeah. year. Yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait. Thank you so much for talking to us. It's been really lovely Absolute meeting pleasure. you. Absolute pleasure. Thank you very and, much. Um, we'll see you in December. Will do. Brilliant. Take Thank care, you. babe. Thank, Thank you. you.